Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Kev's Movie Corner. I am Kev, and this week we are talking about Annie Hall. This movie was released in 1977. Um, quick uh, synopsis from IMDb. Alvy Singer, a divorced Jewish comedian, reflects on his relationship with ex-lover Annie Hall, an inspiring nightclub singer, which ended abruptly just like his previous marriages. Um, it stars um, Woody Allen as Alvy Singer and Diane Keaton as Annie Hall. It is written uh, and or partly written and directed by... Uh, Woody Allen as well. Um, this one was interesting. Um, it basically the entire movie is, um, I mean, it kind of says it in the synopsis here where Woody Allen's character is talking about how he misses, he kind of is reflecting on his, his time with this, with this woman who's, and it, it shows, it's an interesting uh, story because it does kind of show um, things that happen in a relationship and how how things can go wrong and stuff like that and um, you know he's in this in this he's been married already twice um, and those haven't worked out because he he plays a very neurotic um, character uh, and it's it's considered a satirical romantic comedy uh, slash drama. So it's... I'm sure there's people that find it funny. It is not my type of humor. I will say that. Um, it's it's done well, um, but in my opinion, it jumps around a lot. There's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of cuts back like to the present, to the past, to the present, to somebody else in the past, to somebody else. And it just kind of jumps a lot. And I, I like, I know Woody Allen is a, is a, you know, a, 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 a pretty famous, um, New York, like, um, staple in the, in the movie, uh, industry, uh, despite, you know, th- um, different things that have happened in the past, which we won't get into here, but, um, uh, it's just, a. it's, it's not my type of film. It's not long. It's only about an hour and a half. I think it was a little over an hour and a half. So yeah, it's an hour and 33 minutes. So it actually moves along. It goes by relatively quickly. Um, but it just, it wasn't my uh, my thing. There's a lot of there are a lot of people in it, um, a lot of big names. Uh, Tony Roberts is in it. Carol Kane, Shelley Duvall, Paul Simon, Christopher Walken. Um, uh, I saw uh, um, why can't I think of his name? Um, Jeff Goldblum make an appearance for like maybe like five or ten seconds. He talk he says like three things while he's on the phone. Um, so there's a lot of, there's a lot of big names in it, but it's just, um, it's, to me, it was just kind of all over the place. It, it's supposed to be a comedy. I, I didn't really laugh at it that much. I mean, there was a couple of one lines that, that got me, but for the most part, it, it, it just wasn't a, it wasn't a, a movie for me it is very um like i said woody allen plays a very neurotic person he's it, his character is very down uh he he makes um a lot of comments about death being um something that's important to him um and he he just he he does a lot of breaking the fourth wall which is fine um I just actually watched the new Deadpool movie the other a couple of weeks ago, and that, um, and that of course does a lot of that too. But there's just something about the way that it's done in this that I, it doesn't appeal to me. I guess is the is the best way to put it. It's um, 
it is number 30 something on this list. Um, so it is, I mean, obviously people think it's number 35 on the AFI top 100 list. So, I mean, obviously there's, there's people that, that, you know, disagree with me. I'm not a movie critic. I just play one on the internet. Um, so, you know, it, it did, uh, it was nominated for Big Five Academy Awards, winning four. So it won four Academy Awards, Best Picture, uh, Best Director, uh, and Best Original Screenplay, along with Best Actress. Um, so it did obviously well, um, better than some of the other movies that are on these, uh, on these lists. Um, and it's still... Uh, it's still, it says it's number four in the um, list of the most money it made for one of Woody Allen's films. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's not, I, I'm reading a bunch of, I'm reading several things on this and it talks about how it's, you know, critics say that it's super funny and it's everybody's favorite Woody Allen movie and stuff like that. And I, I've, I don't, think I've ever seen another Woody Allen movie, so I can't really speak to that, but it, it just didn't, just didn't appeal to me, um, you know, that doesn't mean that it won't appeal to you, if you like, um, kind of awkward, um, humor, um, this, this might be, this is probably a great movie for you, um, it is very, there's a lot of satire in it. It's very, it's a very dry type of humor. Um, that's not generally what I look for in a comedy, but, you know, each to their own. That's why there's, you know, a hundred billion, trillion, whatever different movies out there for people to watch. So, um, not my thing, uh, but it, it was, I'm... I'm glad I took the 90 minutes to watch it just to see, you know, obviously what it's about. It's some, like I said, somebody decided that these were the, the top 100 movies of all time, or, or a group of people decided that. And it's interesting to see um, what other people say about it and why, and kind of see what other people think about things like this. So there's been several movies on this list that I haven't cared for. Um, you know, I think I talked about it when we did the, uh, when we did number one. The number one movie on this list is Citizen Kane. I did not care for Citizen Kane, but that's just me. That's not everybody. It doesn't, you know, everybody's different. Um, so, I think that's it for this week. It's going to be a shorter one. Um, next week, we've got a special episode. Uh, Nikki's going to join me, and we watched 9 to 5. Uh, we're going to watch 9 to 5, um, starring Dolly Parton, uh, Jane Fonda, and um, I can't think of the other girl's name at the moment. But anyway, we're going to watch 9 to 5. After that, um, we'll go back to the FI list, and it's uh, Bridge Over the River Kwai. So those are the next two movies. Uh, thanks for watching uh, or listening if you're on the podcast. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, watch those movies, and I will talk to you next week.